Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain of the Station. Today, chums, I'm playing some modded No Man's Sky. We're going to be touching down on another planet and seeing what we can find today inside of the verse that is modded No Man's Sky. Cool, the mods that I use are going to be inside of the actual video description. So if you like what you see and you've got a PC, go and check it out. If I can get it to work, I'm fairly sure you guys can get it to work in the view of us. Right, though, well, let's jump on over into game. There I am, inside the Starfield simulation, awaiting to be rendered in to the actual universe. I guess. Brilliant. Here I am, inside of the Station. You can see I've changed my look and feel a little bit, people. Looking a little bit better. Heck yes, I am. And I've got this glorious ship that we're going to be flying out in. It's not all that glorious, but I have put this into creative mode for now, so... I should be able to just pick up any nice ships that fly in and yeah it's more about seeing the planets more so than actually moving the quest line forwards or anything like that and it's for me to be able to gather some footage of these modded worlds just for sort of examples and future videos wow what are you okay let's go and have a look at this planet oh it's a starbolt planet <laughs> My favourite of biomes. The last last episode, I went to a frost biome. My worst of freaking biomes, and man, I was I impressed. If you want to see that video, I put a link in the top right corner above my head. There, be sure to go check that out. Let's head on down to this lovely planet. Right, looks like I'm heading towards the night side, so I'm going to readjust the actual trajectory. If that's yeah, you know, that is a word. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, land somewhere in the daylight. Actually, it looks like it's moving that way a little anyway. And I'm heading towards that island that is kind of in the night. Well, it's like light and dark at the same time, isn't it? I think I might be okay. But just to be sure, I might go slightly over to the left. Okay, Coolio. Now this is taken. I think they might have increased the distance from planets in this one because it does feel like um, a little bit more travel time goes in, doesn't it, really, people in the view of us? But there we go, let's go and touch down here. I think we should be okay touching down here. Excellent day. Right, now with these modded planets and with them being completely crazy, I, I don't fly in at full throttle on all planets, depending on what I start seeing. But this has got floating islands. You know what, let's touch down on a floating island, because why the fudge not? Here we go, we're touched down on this. I want to have a look at this little beauty. Okay. Well, this is this is unusual, isn't it? Well, let's, let's just touch down here. Wow. Bit of a treat for the eyeballs, isn't it? Right, let's jump on out. Oh my days. Look how thick the grass is on this planet. This is mental. Okay, let's run up here. Let's have a little look over the side. Holy fudgeonory! Would you look at this, people, in the view of that? Holy mackerel. This is insane. I so wish that Hello Games would do just do a, a proper next-gen version of this and make it so high-end PCs, the Xbox X and S, and the PlayStation 5 could produce planets like this. So why the fudge not? You know, we've, we've got like a Switch version, but why not have like a proper true next-gen version that just delivers on this sort of stuff? It's freaking epic. Freaking epic, mate. I've got some birds over there. Look at even the rock colours over there with the reds as well coming through. This is insane. I'm just so impressed with what I'm seeing inside of this modded play. In what Hello Games' engine can do. I mean, let's not forget, this is all driven through No Man's Sky's engine. This is the power that it has, people. That's insane, isn't it? That's probably going to be my thumbnail. I know it doesn't really give it overly too much justice, but look, you can see all in the background that it's got a bit of intrigue. And it's freaking epic. Really cool. Actually, I'm in the way, aren't I? Let's just move it over just a teeny bit, like that, maybe. There we go. That'll do. Wait, I can pause that. Get myself a lovely little thumbnail. So impressive. But again, even though these planets look freaking wavy-davy and cool and all sorts of other shenanigans, 
it's not like there's anything to still explore for though is there i mean yeah the planet looks great uh, and look at this down on the actual surface or whatever but i know that i'm probably not going to find some sort of giant megafauna on a planet because they haven't been modded into this it is just all about the terrain and the look and feel but look at that isn't that cool isn't that groovy that rock colors but have you ever seen a lush planet or a paradise planet, star bramble planet, whatever planet, look like this? No, I don't think you have. And this is the thing that we're getting in the Quicksilver store. This is the thing that we're trying to unlock right now. That's so freaking gnarly. Yeah, you know, like I was saying, there's not really any sort of buildings or any reason to explore these worlds. So even though the variety has been ramped up massively, there's not any new modules to be found, there's not any new buildings to be found, there's not any new lore to be found. I think if Hello Games was to put in something massive like this, they would at least have to chuck in another story arc and reasons to actually explore the planets, maybe some megafauna or boss sort of fights that you have with sort of megafaunas, I don't know, or some sort of new loot table or way of getting modules and upgrading yourself. But that is pretty darn sweet. Every single step I take, every step I take, it's a thumbnail in the freaking making, isn't it? I mean, actually, that that's actually quick if I myself over a little. Yeah, that that's probably a better thumbnail, actually, isn't it? That looks freaking cool, man. Okay, well, how many planets are in this system? Let's go to the Discoveries tab. We've got a fair few planets to look at. So that's just two of these planets that we've seen so far, people. Let's try the ringed one, shall we? Let's um, let's call in the ship and we'll go to the ringed planet. Now, after we've been to the ringed planet, I think I'll probably call it a day. I think I'll just feature two planets each episode or something. And that is freaking cool, isn't it? You know, five minutes per sort of planet that way. Kind of gives it a little bit of coverage, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go and have a look at that ringed planet, people. Dum, 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 dum. Flying up into space, into yonder, to infinity and beyond. Okay, let me spin this around. See if we can find the ringed one. Ringed planet, where are you? There you are. We're on our way, ringed planet. Let's give it a scan. Let's see what it is from space. Oh, it's a volcanic planet. Interesting. Let's go. Volcanic planet, I'm on my way to the... Heck yes, I am. See there, it says it's going to take a minute and 20 bloody seconds. You know what? I'll just trim this right now and I'll reconvene with you when we're landing people in the universe. Heck yes. Okay there, people. I am coming down to the actual planet, so let's jump on over into game and let's, um, let's land this ship. Heck yes. All my days. Would you look at this? This is freaking mental. Wow. Okay. Go and touch it down. Let's let's land by a building. Just so we can see the scale of this. Oh my days. <sighs> I'm actually gobsmacked. I, I, the reason I'm gobsmacked, people, is I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking, we've had six years. Six years of people making mods. And none of this in any update so far has made it into iteration. Beyond belief. Just, um, yeah, flabbergasted, to be honest, people. I mean, this is a volcanic world, but I'm not seeing many volcanoes. Mining beam! Boom! And then there's carbon for me. Again, this is freaking crazy, isn't it? You just don't see planets like this inside of normal No Man's Sky, do you? That is so cool. I mean, this one isn't as crazy as the other planets, but it's still more interesting than any of the volcanic worlds that I've ever landed on. I mean, look at the terrain on this, with wavy-davy sort of weird peaks and little openings underneath. I wonder if I can fly through those in my ship. <laughs> it's a good question that I want answers to. Let's give it a go. 
<laughs> this is where I crash and burn in creative mode, people. There we go. Let's out. Let's give it a go. Let's fly through this one over here. Oh, could this be a mistake? Oh, my days. There's a floating boulder in this one. Probably the wrong one to choose. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Floating boulder. We've made it through. There's trees at the opposite side, though. Kaboom. We did it. We freaking did it. Heck yes, we did. Okay. Well, that was pretty good fun. See, look, you can't do this on landscapes inside of our sort of instance on PlayStation 5. Okay, this is this is mental. I know, I was saying on my previous episode that I made, okay, I'm, I'm, I, was, I was trying to be cocky then, people. Let's, uh, let's go for a bigger hole. There's a bigger hole over there. There we go. Sweet. Let's go down into that one. Hopefully there's no floating boulders in this one. Ah! It just closed on me, people. You saw that happen live. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, it's a gnarly landscape anyway, isn't it? I mean, look at that one. There's a little arch down there. Oh, this is going to be impossible, I think. But we're going to give it a go, because I'm Steve! Okay, here we go. That's that. <laughs> Fudging heck. Okay. Ah! No, no. Too big. Too big for that hole. Okay, boom. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, alright, well I think you get the idea. I'm having a bit of fun. Go through this one. Down. I love the trees on this volcanic world, but where's the bloody volcanoes, mate? Hasn't spawned in any volcanoes at all, has it? But look at that sunset. That's so freaking cool. I'm going to land on top of this rock, just because I can. Now... I know that there's probably a lot of people out there saying, you know, well, it's all well and good showing off all this sort of modded play, but it's something that I can't partake in. And that's exactly how I felt about modded gameplay, people. And that's why I've never done modded gameplay on my channel, is because it, it only draws in a certain audience. But then I'm thinking, No Man's Sky are working on another super ambitious game, aren't they? And this is their engine. This is what it's going to run on. So we need to look at what the engine is capable of doing. But it's more about that than anything else. Look at this. This is this is this is the no man's sky that I hoped we was going to get at launch. Imagine if we had 6 years of exploring this, 6 years of building bases in this. And we was all on this together in this sort of instance. I know it's probably never going to have worked on PlayStation 4's hardware. Especially now we've got multiplayer. And it's definitely never going to sort of happen for Switch, is it? I wouldn't have thought, unless they massively turn down the amount of sort of foliage that renders in. But, you know, I've tinkered about with my settings to get it to work smoothly on my PC. You'd like to hope that there would have been some optimization gone in. I mean, Hello Games say they like to be ambitious, and they like to push the boundaries of what they do in their studio. Well, surely this is it, mate. This is what you want to be looking at. It's trying to get it to look something like this. That just adds so much more exploration. I can't wait to land on the next on the next planet. I mean, look at that. What's that? Okay, it's a bright red freaking marble, that one. Okay, this is a frothing planet. You know what? I said that we'd do two planets in one episode, but I'm going to have a look at it because this is one of those exotic planets, okay? So these planets, normally they've got one creature on and they all look the thrickin' same. It's like a copy and paste job across the universe. You've seen one frothing planet, you've seen all of them. Normally a frothing planet, I think, are the ones with the bubbles all over them. Let's see how we get on with this one. Let's see if it is still a bubble planet, but let's see if it's been tweaked enough to make it more interesting to, than what we're used to seeing people in the view of us let's go let's go okay now i am flying down a little bit quick on this one let's just hope it isn't covered in gnarly massive trees or else i'm gonna get stuck in one what the fudge are you mate okay that is a big tree it's a big dead tree all right well, let's uh let's touch it down then I'm not seeing... Oh, I am seeing... Am I seeing bubbles or are they planets? <laughs> Look at this. You don't know what you're going to get. I mean... I haven't actually seen many patterns as yet, because 
I'm not used to playing on this yet. Maybe I will start spotting patterns in this. Maybe this will sort of, maybe, get predictable at some point. Look at that tree. And they are bubbles. They're freaking massive bubbles. Massive bubbles that look like planets. That was freaking epic. I've got to go see this tree. I mean, that's a point of interest hanging over the hill. That's pulling me to it, which is the sort of thing that Hello Games said would happen inside of No Man's Sky. You'd be, in, you'd be investigating a planet, see something in the distance, and want to go and have a better look at it. I've not had that. Well, I did when they added in freaking archives, and I hadn't seen one before, but now I've seen them. I've seen them all. But look at this tree. I have not seen a tree like this inside of normal play of No Man's Sky. And I know it's just a poxy tree, but I haven't seen a planet like this. I mean, look, it's got little bubbles there, crazy giant bubbles up in the air. It looks alien. It feels alien. It's a place that, you know, no one else has seen this. And I'd imagine, I'm hoping, that even after I've been playing this for a long time, that's still the case, you know? I'm hoping I don't see patterns inside of modded play or else what's the point but we'll find out as this goes on there's only one creature here as well so cool so cool people in the view of us uh right can i get a picture of me with the tree um i kind of can i think i can i probably need to be further back but that's pretty darn cool anyway isn't it uh, even with that tree the dead tree there it's just, I'm, you're not going to see another screenshot like this. I mean, the, the people that like doing photography, every planet is going to be like this or similar. It's just going to be completely random. Uh, my mind is still blown, people. I'm still trying to get my head around this. I'm still trying to wrap my head around just how crazy all of this actually is. Not so much how crazy the mod is, but how crazy it is that we haven't seen anything even close to this come into iteration through the time that No Man's Sky has been living and breathing. In fact, it doesn't feel like No Man's Sky has been living and breathing at all when you look at stuff like this. It almost feels like it's just sat there and modders have just passed it onto a new freaking shelf. Ah! Gobsmacked, gobsmacked, but for different reasons. I mean, look at that resource. What is that resource sticking out the ground? We used to have resources like this. Heridium used to grow out the ground like this. But what is that? Okay, it is indium. Wow. I would like to even see just that sort of stuff happen. It's not just in the floor, but pillars of it, you know? Just add a little bit more variety. Okay, I, I honestly don't get why we've got 250-odd freaking universes that are all the same. When they could be, like, make, maybe putting in a, a mod of sorts onto, say, like, Galaxy Number 2 that changes all exotic planets into something a little bit more like this, you know? And then you get to Galaxy 3, and it, it adds in a mod on all the Frost Wells. Galaxy 4, all the, all the, all the, all the lush biomes... Or something, just so it keeps layering and layering and layering. So the more you travel, the more modded and the more stranger it gets. I don't know whether you can hear all the sound effects right now, but it sounds really weird. Yeah. Anyway, people, I'm going to be ending off. But I am so impressed. So impressed so far. And I hope you guys are too. And I hope you're looking at this more on the engine's perspective. What the engine can do in No Man's Sky. And perhaps maybe the future of No Man's Sky from Hello Games might be to implement some of the math that's behind this. I mean, the terrain just is freaking gnarly. And the terrain textures. I mean, look at the colours over there on the rocks. The oranges, the blues. It looks like it's got veins running through the actual terrain as well. Every time I go to end off or do something, I see something else that catches my eye. It's like that sort of resource there. It's a square block. That gold deposit is a square block, where the other resource deposit was a column. So even just that little bit of extra added variety is pretty darn freaking impressive, compared to what we've seen for the last six years. You get what I'm saying? I hope you do, anyway. I hope this, I hope this is coming across the right way. I mean, 
I love No Man's Sky and I love the potential and it just seems that we've just found reams of untapped potential just sitting here in the engine. And PC gamers have probably been enjoying this for the last God knows how long. No wonder Steam numbers are so high. <laughs> They're playing a different game. Ah, Virgin heck. This is this is this is a whole new world to me, people. It really is, and I'm so glad I decided to dive one in and give it a try. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.